how to use the product field in Gravity Forms. Products can be created using the product field. It can be found in the form editor under the pricing field section. So the product field can be created using any of the following type of field. So here are the available field types for the product field. The single product, drop down, radio buttons, user defined price, hidden, and calculation. If you choose single product, the price and a quantity field will be shown by default when using the single product field type. If you have chosen product field set to drop down or radio buttons, you will see the edit choices, which allows you to change the label, value, and pricing for each choice. The radio buttons are just similar to the drop down option. Then the user defined price on your form, the user defined price field type will show up as a single line field. Then if the product is set to hidden, it won't be visible but will still be processed after submission. Calculation. This generates product information based on calculations. So if you select calculation, you will see the merge tag option. So Gravity Form uses merge tags to dynamically populate submitted field values and other dynamic information notification emails, post content templates, and more. Merge tags work in confirmation messages. However, you can't use merge tags to display Gravity Forms data on pages or posts. Then here, enter the product starting price. If the quantity field is disabled, a quantity of one will be considered, or you can add a quantity field from the pricing fields to your form. So we will now start on creating a product. Let's customize its settings. So I'll choose the single product, add $10 as my starting price. Then I'll have to duplicate my product because I want to have two products as my example. So in product two, I added $20 as my starting price. So now I will add another field, which is the option field. Users can select options for products created by product field using the option field. I will name it options for product one. So in the product field mapping, select which product this field is tied to. So in the product field mapping, I will choose product one because this is the options for product one. Then in the field type, I'll choose check boxes, click edit choices, I will add option one, and option two, then add one dollar and two dollars as my price. You can also enable select all choice. After that, I will duplicate the options for product two. 
and customize it. Set this to product two and then edit this to two. Now, I will add another field again, which is the total field. Let's save the form. And preview it. As you can see, if you select a quantity for product one, you can select an option in product two. Because the options for product two are only set for product two, same with the options for product one. That's all. Thank you for watching.